All right, so we are back on our weekly release cycles, and Apple just dropped not only watchOS, iOS, but iPadOS 26 beta 7 today. And seven betas into this, we're not anticipating many new features. This should be a short video for you guys today, but rather we should be getting performance and stability improvements and battery life assistance. So jumping into settings general and about the most surprising aspect of this is the build number. And as you guys can see here, this is carrying a new build number of 23A5326A. The A is huge. It actually signifies that Apple feels this could be ready to go to the public as they work from the back of the alphabet to the front. This is telling us that when you see an A or B build, this might be our final beta, which is coming a little sooner than what we thought. So let's go ahead and jump right into release dates and schedules here because this is somewhat of a pleasant surprise. So since we are already on the 18th of the month, we know we are less than one month away from the new iPhone unveiling on the rumored 9th of September. But that leaves us one more week of a gap. We really anticipated getting a beta 8 next week along with beta 7 this week. But since this is carrying an A build, barring some re-release or some other changes Apple feels is necessary, we now might go three weeks before another beta. I still do feel, honestly, we will get one next week, along with the public betas as well. But if we don't, since this is an A build, we are possibly looking at the end of iOS 26 betas, and then possibly getting the RC right on the 9th, with the next public release going on the 15th, and all of those good things that come with that. Very interesting to see. It's about a week earlier than what I anticipated. But like we said too, this has been performing great. I have to say everything has been smooth. Let's jump into stocks, just go to Apple. You can see just how quick everything is flying now. The iPad hasn't gotten hot, battery life has remained consistent. Obviously this is all beta six style. Battery life for beta seven will be discussed in our Apple Rewind on Sunday. But guys, I am very, very pleased on how everything is working. Let's just, just jump into a game really quick. And you can see it's running just like what you'd expect. Apparently there's an update, but the window resizing, everything is working as advertised. You saw a little hiccup there. Let's check control center. No glitches there like we have on iOS. I'm very pleased with the performance so far from beta six and beta seven. Aside from that, like we said, not too much new here. It's more just gonna be tweaking liquid glass, which again, doesn't look changed to me at all at a quick glance, but everything does seem to be working as anticipated. One thing I do wanna call out here on the actual developer webpage here for iOS, iPad, and all their other updates, when you go to view release notes for beta seven, it is actually, let me scroll back up, not up to date. It is still showing beta six. Not a surprise, it's been lagging in this regards, maybe another day or so before this updates, but expect a long list of fixed or resolved issues here. If you have been waiting to get on board to download these betas in a developer capacity or a public beta capacity, these are gonna be your most stable and recommended versions to use. Just keep that in mind. If you've been waiting, you might be good to go. And obviously you have all your other options here as far as moving everything around, the new multitasking views, everything has stayed the same, but working as anticipated. So again, sorry guys, not many new features here, but I just wanted to let you know, beta seven's out, looks very stable and solid to this point. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about iPad OS 26 and its whole beta cycle? Are you excited for it? Are you downloading it? Have you been using it? We'll talk in the next one. Peace.